Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So today I just want to, it's a really short video, but uh, it's kind of important. It's about reading spark plugs, what they can tell you, what they can't tell you, and uh, some misconceptions that are flying around. So let's get you in a top-down view. We'll get the 10 times magnification out and we will discuss further. So the first thing I want to say, and I w a myth that I want to debunk, is when someone runs an engine and they pull their plug off and they look at it and they say, yep, that's running rich, that's running lean. You can't do that. A plug cannot be read just by looking at it that's already been uh, ran in the engine. And that is because it's going to have been ran at different rev ranges. And you can have a rich, low-speed screw at idle, and you can have a lean, high-speed screw. You could be uh, looking at this and it looks chocolatey brown, but that's because you spent more time idling it than you have at full throttle. So I would suggest forgetting about that. Don't even waste your time. And if someone says that to you, you can safely ignore that information that they've told you because it's not true. The second thing is you can get um, spark timing from this central electrode. We're not going to go into that. You can get heat ranges depending on where it's colored the strap. We're not going into that. You get a rough idea as to the tune, a basic idea of a tune looking at this flat portion of the threaded section. But again, all of these things are going to change if you're running um, unleaded petrol with a synthetic oil or a mineral oil or you're running ethanol in your fuel, different additives that you're running, all of that is going to change how a plug appears. There's only one real useful thing that we can tell from a plug for us. This is not talking about race engines and ignition advance and this, that and the other. For most people, the, the most useful thing that you'll get out of a spark plug is if you run your engine, get it nice and hot, tune it, Kill the engine, pull the plug out, put a brand new plug in, run it full throttle. Don't idle it, don't half throttle it. Full throttle, under load for a minute or two. Bring it, kill the engine straight away, bring it back, cut the crimp off, pull this threaded portion out, and you look at what's called the soot ring. The soot ring is basically this brown ring at the taper of the insulator, and it gives you an idea, a very good idea, whether your engine at that particular time, with that fuel, with that load, with that jetting, with that weather, with that altitude, is running rich, Lean gives you an indication. Let me just pull you in here. There you go. So I've done that as a bit of a demonstration here. It's about a millimeter wide, and that tells me that at full throttle, that all that information, or all those inputs, the temperature, altitude, all that load is uh, it's running really nice. It's a perfect tune. If that was starting to come up here, this soot ring was coming up the insulator, it's too rich. And if you haven't got a soot ring, it's either not been run long enough or you're running too lean. So that's great for half an hour of running, riding, whatever you're doing, that piece of equipment. But as soon as that sun comes out, temperature goes up. Maybe you've got um, a slightly different fuel ratio. Maybe you're going in a different load. That is no longer useful. It's no longer accurate. It's no longer telling you what you need to know. There is one best way that you can tell if your engine's running good and bad, and that is by listening and feeling how the engine is responding to the inputs that you're doing. If you find that your engine loads up and you're at idle, you've just started your engine, you're leaving it there and it starts to drop in RPM, you're too rich on the low speed screw. If you find that the engine is difficult to start, you're too lean on the low speed screw. If you find that the engine comes back off wide open throttle when it comes down in a stepping sound and it, it sounds laboured and delayed, you're too low, too lean on the low speed screw. If you pin that throttle from idle to and go to full throttle and there is a bog that is too lean on the low speed screw. If you find that there's a burble, you pull that trigger and go, there's a burble, a throaty sound before it gets to full throttle and there's a, a, a delay and you're too rich on the low speed screw. If you're at full throttle and the engine a two stroke is under load, but it's still four stroking, making that, that burbling sound, you're too rich. If it's running very, very clean and screaming, and you may even start to hear a metallic -y sound detonation going on in your engine, then you're too lean. There are, those are the sorts of things that are going to tell you so much more about the engine. It's worth learning it for the simple fact that that's going to tell you everything you need to know real time. The best way you can tune an engine is by hearing and feeling it. This gives you a good idea. This gives you a very small, sharp window into how your engine is running, that soot ring. This for jetting, not for other aspects, for heat range and detonation and all that, tells you nothing. So ignore it. That's my advice. If you're following my channel, I guess you want to know what I think. That's what I think. All right. Hope you guys have a great one. Catch you soon.